Clip art and images in Excel is one of those topics that you have to go into but you really don't want to. Because let's face it, clip art and images and spreadsheets, I mean, they're normally pretty tacky. I mean, people use them thinking that adding an image or adding some kind of clip art to their worksheet is going to make it look nicer and people are going to like the worksheet more because it has images in it. Not necessarily. Remember that if your images aren't really adding anything to the worksheet, if they're not giving valuable information to people, it's better to leave them out. You're not going to get anything by putting a picture of a star or a picture of whatever on your, on your worksheet unless it's directly related to the worksheet content. But that aside, I'm going to show you how you can use clip art and images inside of Excel. It's pretty much like in any other Microsoft Office application. What you do is you go to insert, to the insert tab up here, and you have this entire menu, which is called illustrations. And in here, you can insert different things. You can insert pictures, which are pictures that are stored on your computer. For example, if you took a photo from your cell phone, put it on your computer, or downloaded a picture from the internet to your computer and you want to insert it, you would use this. And right there, you get a list of files that you have on your hard drive and you can insert an image right into Excel like that. And once you have your image, you can drag the corners or the sides to scale it. It's better to always drag the corners when you're scaling an image because that scales it proportionally. There's nothing worse than opening a spreadsheet and finding something like that. You know, someone put an image in it and scaled it by dragging the side or by dragging the bottom and the thing's completely out of proportion. So always drag from the corners. And if you want to rotate your image, just hover over this little arrow up here, click and drag, and your image is going to start rotating and following your cursor. So that's how you can rotate an image. Now also up here, you have different formatting options. For example, if you want to add borders to your images like that, Sometimes it helps to have a border because it visually separates your image from the rest of the spreadsheet. Only you don't want something like this, you know, this, is, this looks ridiculous on a spreadsheet. The most you want is one of these first ones, which is a really soft border that simply separates your image, whatever is necessary, from the rest. In fact, I don't usually use these predefined formats because they're really complex. I mean, there are elevated borders with shadows and everything. I simply prefer to go right here where it says picture border, bring the drop down out, and I set it to black. And see, and now I get a simple black line. And in fact, if I wanted to make that line thinner, I can do it right here to half a point. And it's visually separated from the rest of the spreadsheet, but not so much so as to call attention to itself. So that's the first way to insert an image, which is a picture from your hard drive. You can insert online pictures right here, download it from the internet, and you'll get this search box where you can search for different things. For example, wooden table. And when you search for wooden table, you get the results from the internet, which are images that you can download. You can refine your search a little bit here. For example, we can take this and we can find medium sized images. We can find photos or clip art or only drawings if we want to. We can look for a predominant color in that image. And this is really important. This is the licensing scheme. If you're doing spreadsheets for a big company that are going to be used over and over again, or if you're making some kind of a product that you're going to sell, you probably want to check this out. And you probably want to select images that have uh, some kind of Creative Commons license or that you can purchase for a commercial use. Because one of the worst things you can do is go to market with a product and it turns out that you had a copyrighted image that you didn't have the rights over. And two weeks later, you get a notification which says, hey, you got to remove that image from your product. And that's a, a mess. So here you can check different types of licensing on your images. Initially, Excel sets this to only Creative Commons, but you can set it to everything if you want to, and you'll get far more options for images right there. So once you find one that you like, you click on it, or if you like, you can click on several of the images, and this little check mark appears that indicates that you're going to import those images into your document, and finally you press Insert. 
And there's the images you downloaded right on your spreadsheet. So that's the second option. That's how you download images from the internet directly into Excel. The third option for images is this one that says shapes. Excel can draw several shapes and these shapes are built in from the factory. So you don't need uh, to search for them. You don't need an internet connection. And they're really common shapes that you use quite often in your spreadsheets. For example, right here we have arrows. If you want to draw an arrow, just click the arrow shape and drag your cursor and you get an arrow. And you can alter the shape outline. Maybe if you want to make it a little bit thicker, you can change the color of that arrow. And you can also rotate the arrow, you know, do all sorts of things like that. There's other shapes that you can insert here. For example, we have, uh, I don't know, we got a smiley face. If you ever need a, a smiley face for anything. And we have these little block arrows, which are a little easier to see than the thinner arrows. And you have another wide variety of shapes over here. So you just select the one you want and draw it right on the screen. Then you have smart art graphics. Smart art are simply predefined graphics that you can draw into Excel. You simply select the one you want, for example, a basic cycle right here. And you type in the text, stage two, stage three. And with that, you're done. Excel automatically draws your cycle chart like that. And it includes the arrows and everything. So that's what smart art is. It's like a shortcut so you can draw different things in Excel and automatically format them. And finally, the last interesting thing that you can do with pictures in Excel is this one that says screenshot. This is really interesting if you work with financial reports or with lab reports or anything that you need to leave a permanent record of. For example, if this were some kind of a financial report, and the results came in from a sales report, which would be like this, my sales figure projection, I might want to add a picture of this into my spreadsheet so that I get a permanent record of the numbers I took and where I took them from. That way, if someone changes this later on and my results don't match up, I can look at the picture and say, no, these were the results when I took out the report. So how do you do that? Well, one way to do it is here. You go to Screenshot, and when you drop down, you get all the available windows that you currently have open on your system. Right here is the spreadsheet window where I have my sales figures. So I'm going to click right there, and Excel automatically takes a screenshot of that window and inserts it into the spreadsheet. And there, I have my permanent record of the numbers from my sales projection. And it doesn't matter if someone changes them later on, I have the permanent record right here. Now, I might not want all these numbers in my spreadsheet. And this picture is probably too big to store or put beside a financial report. So one interesting thing I can do with this picture is crop it. Cropping means to simply cut the picture so that it becomes smaller. And you do it right here. If you have the picture in your spreadsheet, you click on it so that you get these little circles in the corners. And once you got those little circles, you go right here to the crop command. And you bring it down. You say crop. And these little black markers show up on the corners. And what you do is you take those little black markers and you drag them to where you want it to be. See right there, right there. We're going to drag this one here and this one here. And then you click outside the box. And now your picture has been cut to the size that you want. So that's another interesting thing you can do with pictures. You can crop them. And also, when you click on a picture, this format context menu pops up. That's where we found the crop command. And you can also do other things with pictures. As we saw, you can add borders. You can change the color. You can make corrections. For example, if you have a photo that's a bit too dark, you can correct the contrast and brightness there. And you can also reorder pictures. For example, if I do that, this beam here is behind my financial projection. But if I want to bring it to the front, I can click here. I'll bring forward. And it'll move a step further. Now, in this case, we didn't notice anything because I only have two pictures. But if I had a whole bunch of pictures, 
we would have seen this jump ahead of another picture. But where we can see an effect is if you would click this drop down and say bring to front. That brings your image completely to the front of the screen and in front of any other image you might have. Now this one, if I say bring forward, it's going to jump ahead of the beam. I can also send it backwards. I can also align pictures, rotate pictures, do all sorts of operations. So remember, if you want to do operations on your pictures in Excel, just click the picture, click this green menu which says format, and you have all the options that you need to work with your images in Excel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.